<laughs> Heidi ho. Wet and box love. I'll tell you something about the way I work and about my mess and about my chaos. First of all, I'll show you my chaos. In episode one, Killing the Mess, <laughs> go check it out. My first video, um, I cleaned the studio. But it didn't help. It looks like shit again. So here's what it looks like now. So you come in and the way is blocked with an old bed. So my mom painted it and I found it while cleaning out the rooftop. This is also from ripping out the old installation from the rooftop, which I will be building with. So the way is totally blocked. <laughs> out there is my outdoor workbench for the summer. So this is the the bathroom, which is now a paint uh, cleaning room. I do murals, so I had a job like two weeks ago, so I had to, but I didn't clean it away. <laughs> Just washed it in. Yeah, and then you come in, the floor looks like shit. All the XPS cutoffs and plaster and whatever. Check out, I cannot even sit on the couch again, again. This is also from the last job. It's, it's spray cans, it's wall paints, spray cans. Then I didn't know where to put the pile of shame, so they're sitting on top of this. Here is some gas masks stuff, some used gloves. And most important, my speaker's bench. <laughs> so in there is my where all the pictures are from my artworks, but this one is too long. It's about three meters long, so I don't know where to put it. <sighs> okay, it's it looks it looks still looks like shit. Here is the the workbench working on some Aztec pyramids right now. Yesterday the postman brought some palm trees, like forty or fifty or something. So on my display, playing board, layout thing, this looks okay, looks okay, looks okay. But what? Just put the craft here, have some flocking stuff here. Oh, okay, so this is also still a mess. This is my third artwork I'm working on right now. It looks like a pile of rubble. So active projects are artwork number three. Aztec full gaming table pyramids and the floor <laughs> the floor the floor the floor uh, so let's sit down and talk let's sit down and talk a little bit <laughs> cheerio mm. the thing is what I I just realized I wanted to tell you why everything is looking like a mess and why my why my YouTube my studio can't be the typical YouTube YouTubers video studio. So when I uh, when I look at all those other YouTubers with the high numbers and stuff they have a, a dedicated uh, table with a chair and perfect light lights and uh, camera setups and stuff and then they work on their small cutting mat mostly on the cutting mat it's like two in uh, two feet by one feet or something so so the the lights are set up for the background for the top lining the maybe some some from the back so you get this nice little white line flickering thing so you you, you gotta know i studied uh design it was called then um, communications design it was a little bit more than graphic design it was including uh, you could specialize in uh, in um, the internet and stuff like that it was in uh, it was at the beginning of the millennium when i studied i started started in uh, 1998 and was done in 2003 so we had uh, typical um, graphic design. We could uh, do photography, we could do video, 
and uh, for video we could do animation and uh, documentary and experimental and we could also go for multimedia stuff um, at that time it was mostly for uh, on the pc uh, some applications more like in in director or in flash so and and some and illustration and whatnot and I specialized in animation, in 2D animation and documentary movies. So I, I, <laughs> I know how to do a good looking video. <sighs> but that would, that would kill my creative process if I set everything up. I got I got a lot of equipment from back in the days like a, I got this small microphone for here you know um, I could organize some cameras multi multi camera setup I I got some light stuff leftovers and and uh, or, or good microphones to to catch all the the ambient sounds and stuff but I don't use it I shoot my videos on my new mobile phone. I bought it last year. Uh, after seven years, the the old one was too old. So this is a it's a, got a pretty decent camera, um, front and back. The sound is okay. Um, yeah, and then for the for sometimes I gotta gotta uh, put it somewhere. So where is it? So now the chaos is back. Wait a second. Let's see where this thing is. The tripod. It is in godly light. <laughs> sun, sun came out. So this is my tripod. Nothing special. It's really old. It's a telescope. Um, it's got this little screw here. So you can, can move it around. And then I bought this uh, camera holder. To, to hold my camera, well, my not camera holder, mobile phone holder, so I can um, attach my camera to it. I also have this really old GoPro here on this arm. Um, when I do some streaming, this is my top down camera. So I shoot all my videos with my mobile phone and this thing here. And why do I do that? I, I, <laughs> I know how to do a proper video. But I don't want to, because it's killing the creativity, it's killing the process. It takes for ages to film. I'm, I don't want to be a filmer, I want to be a crafter. So I said to myself, if I start this YouTube thing, I have to make a compromise. Just, I don't give a sh how the how it looks, it's about the content. The content comes first. Um, my content is I, I, I do, I like, I love what I do and I love to show it. That's my, my way to go. And, um, and I like to make, uh, to be silly, to do quatch. <laughs> uh, yeah, just, to, it's a hobby. It should be fun. It should be uh, not so serious. Serious, I, I, for me, series is boring. It's, it, it, I don't want to go to school and have this teacher showing me how everything is done. I want to have fun. I want, I want to have fun. I want to get inspired. I want to uh, just go for it and be crazy. And yeah, and that's, that's why I do my videos how I do them. I don't want to be the tutorial guy, you know, um, explaining exactly which brush, which color, which glue, why I do what and stuff. You'll figure it out by watching it. That's, you're smart. No, it's just, just watch it and, and, and try to find small things you can use in your crafts. Um, there are so many really good tutorial guides out there. I started like that. You know, Black Magic Craft and Eric's Hobby Workshop and Dark Matter Workshop and Miscast and uh, oh, I for uh, Real Terrain Hobbies and the Terrain Tutor and ah, thousands of them. I watched them all 
I expect you to watch them all <laughs> uh, because that's the basics. You got to know that stuff. Uh, if you watch my video and you're a total beginner, you will find it hard to to grasp. Um, but if you have seen all the other stuff and if you've done stuff and tried stuff and experimented, then you know what a proxon is. Then you know that the white stuff is PVA glue and then the, the, the funky dildo thing is no dildo. It's a, gra a static grass applicator and stuff. Yeah, um, so go watch all the masters like I did, learn from them, learn how, how they do it and then um, come back and relax and enjoy and laugh and see chaos and uh, yeah, have fun maybe. <laughs> Another thing, um, why I'm always dressed like I'm dressed, like, look at this, my t-shirt. This is a nicer one. And my pants, it's, uh, it, they're all dirty. It's dirty, it's grimy. That's because I work, that's the way I work. Um, you maybe, if you've seen a video already, you, you saw that I don't craft and then paint. I, I prepare bricks like lego bricks and then paint them pre-paint them in a really chaotic way like splashing colors and stuff and washes and throw all it in a bin and bram bram and the wash over it and who cares uh, the chaotic drying process is my is the way is my style that's uh, why the stuff looks like it looks uh, it's it's this chaos the organized chaos i'm all about organized chaos and um, yeah, when I paint like that, everything gets dirty. The room gets dirty, I get dirty, uh, the tools get dirty, everything is dirty. Look at this, this is my spatula. So <laughs> it, it's full of plaster. It could be a holy artifact in D&D maybe. Um, yeah, also my stuff, where I have my stuff, it's also uh, ordered chaos. Wait a sec, here. This is the toolbox. All my tools are in here. It's uh, all this kind of stuff, you know, scissors and spatulas and the, the ruler. So this is the glue box. All my glues are in this box. This is the toothpick box. All the wooden sticks are in here. This is the wire and um, rope box. Everything is in here. Down here in boxes are all the pre-painted bricks and uh, wooden wood planks and stuff so all this is down here here is um, the plastic plants already uh, primed so so i know where my stuff is but it's chaotically ordered um for example the brushes, the brushes are either here or in the bathroom uh, because of the cleaning so i know where the stuff is it's it's got its 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 place but it's not those perfect mdf cuts where everything has its own place it's like all in bulk um yeah the the acrylic colors okay this is this is the place for the colors and it also extends a little bit over there <laughs> and um the flock stuff, usually everything for flocking and stuff, that's all over there. Here, uh, all the wooden bits, everything is in there. So I know exactly where stuff is, but it looks like shit. <laughs> it's a, it's, it's like, yeah, it looks like a hoarder's home, as a Messi's home. Um, but I know exactly where it is. And my greatest tool, my, my really greatest tool, I bought this vacuum cleaner years ago already. Um, this, uh, not a regular, bought this industrial, it's not a profi, not a professional one. It's, um, but it sucks in all those bits. It's so strong, it's really loud. Um, but it sucks in the big stuff also, like, like uh, plaster rocks that are as big as this. It all sucks it away. Um, yeah, that's, uh, 
I just need that from time to time. I also, here my table. This was a really cool table from my mom. Um, it's it's uh, oval shape, got this, got this nice feet. It was a really good wood. Um, yeah, it was expensive. I think they bought it at the antique market. But I had no room for it and I did not want to... Um, did not want to uh, give it away or I wanted to use it, but then it started to look shitty because I put paint all over it. And it was too small then, it was oval and didn't look, want to use it like that. So I got some OSB, put two on top of that, some some wooden framing just with a vroom vroom. If there's plaster on it, it doesn't matter. If there's color on it, it doesn't matter. I just go over it with regular color. And then that's it. So uh, last time we, we played something with uh, the ocean. So I painted it. The ocean just blew directly on the table. And the rest black so we can have our cards and our minis. For gaming, of course, I, I vacuum clean the table before that. Yeah, so you see, it's, it's chaotic. I try to make everything look nice with this. This was uh, to be the background, so you look here, oh, this is a nice YouTube studio um, background thing. I also tried with some lightning from the back and stuff, but I want to make videos not look nice. <laughs> I want to build, I want to craft. Crafting first. Crafting first, inspiration first, the rest comes later. Yeah, so now I got all of this off my chest. And uh, maybe now you understand why everything looks like shit. And uh, it's part of my creative process. I need this. And I also need this dedicated space. So I don't live in this mess. It's, it's a room where, where I can close the door and leave everything as is. Before um, we live to somewhere else. And I did not have a dedicated place. So I had to like most of you, I guess, do it on the kitchen table, uh, put a blanket over it and do small stuff. Don't make a mess. Don't put color everywhere. Um, but that's not good for my process. This is blocking me. Then I don't do much uh, and I don't do what I could do. So I decided to have to, to have this place in order to freak out. It's uh, my kind of man cave. It's my dirt cave. It's, yeah. I need this. And it's definitely worth it. Um, I don't earn money with crafting. I earn money with paintings and graphic design and stuff like that. But for paintings, I also, for my graphic design, I also have dirt elements in there. Or uh, paint murals and stuff. Um, so it's I earn a little bit of money with this space. So it's more like a, a, a it's not a hobby workshop. It's like a professional workshop. But since one year, used a lot for the hobby. Most of the time. Yeah. And I'm, from time to time, I'm thinking, could I make money with a, with a hobby? Not only uh, with, with stuff like, also I don't make money with YouTube. You see, I just got 250 or what uh, subscribers. Um, this would be the one thing, doing the videos and have Patreons and stuff like that. Um, the other thing is I could sell stuff on Etsy or wherever um, or do commissions or or develop games or but I don't know if I want it I don't know if I want it <laughs> the thing is um, when I do a commission it also kills my creative process if it, as a hmm, if someone would commission me, I would say, okay, well, do you want an ad stack temple-like thing? Um, there's no deadline. <laughs> the, 
there's no um you, you just can say okay i need something like this like you did and then i do what i want to do not what you want to do so i'm really egoistic uh, with commissions <laughs> Otherwise, I would not do it. No, I would not do it. Then it feels like, like, yeah, like uh, employment again, or like a real job, and then, and then the fun is gone, and then I would, I guess, then I would stop doing it. That would be sad because it's giving me so much. This working in three D space and crafting and creating worlds. Yeah. It's my club. I'm a one-man club. I'm the web bar club. <laughs> uh, you know why I'm the club. It's because the domain was free. I like the word web bar. It's, it's world builder in German. And uh, .de, .com, .eu, everything was gone. But .club was still available. And I thought, okay, club. It's cool. I'm a club. And uh, a little bit schizophrenic, maybe. <laughs> But who cares? I'm a club. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. A lot of talking. Didn't show anything. Had some coffee. That's enough. Uh, oh, yeah. That's like 20 minutes or whatever. Uh, see ya.